Well, there it is. Hello. Welcome to a Warcraft 3, 4 versus 4 random team game. Cherryville is going to be our map. It's looking a little, well, a little dark, brown, miserable. It's about to get a little bit more dark, brown, and miserable. Because this is a strategy about spreading blight. Yes, you heard correctly. Quite a few people have suggested this strategy. I'm going to try to name them out, and I'm going to read these as fast as possible, but I'm going to give credit to all the names. So Martin Nielsen and Killman Pitt, Satariel the Demon says, I have a strategy for you. The rules are as follows. Play undead and spread blight as much as you can across the map. Spread it into enemy bases and take them over with the help of heroes and units. I'm not so sure about taking them over, but I'll try my best. The end game goal is basically to cover the entire map with blight and buildings. Remember to siege using the buildings that Undead provides. So there's going to be a lot of ghouls going on here, left, right, and center. Now let's think about this. It's no super rush, but if I'm going to be spreading blight, I'm probably going to want an expansion just so I can afford like four or five different shops. Don't worry, there's more people to give credit to. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not going to mess up the build order. So I ruin myself. Uh, if we could chop that, that'd be lovely. Let's chop those two, put maybe a graveyard there, and then happy days. Yeah, whatever works for you, really, fella. Now, let's get one shop to start off with. Continual ghouls, work towards an expansion. Now, the question is, is I'll probably take the expansion in the middle. But it's if Undead get enough towers there, they can hold on to it. So, whilst I'm spamming out ghouls right now, Killman Pit is the other one that was mentioned earlier. He's saying, here's a fun strat for you, Witty. I call it the plague. The point is to play undead and cover as much of the map as possible with blight and to make it look like undead hell. You can use whatever units you find useful. And, well, <laughs> I don't really find ghouls that useful, but it's been suggested to use them. So well, here we go. And Death Knight is making his way out. He's uh, quite responsible. He's Arthas, isn't he? He's pretty responsible for a lot of the uh, plague issues that occurred. The irony is he, he was trying to stop it and then he ended up becoming the dude that sort of like helps the undead the best that's sort of taking over. Anyway, um, find it useful. It would be cool to see abominations, ghouls and necromancers since they are the primary plague units, at least in the human campaign for Reign of Chaos. I find this the essence of plague. The rest is just undead imbalance. That is correct. Too much undead imbalance all over the shop. Needs to be nerfed, needs to be removed. So, if we go get ourselves our graveyard here. Ghouls are still chopping the wood. Death Knight's going to be coming out shortly. It might give me enough time to read out the next one. Saying to Tyrael the Demon, he says, Hey Woody, can you please play a battle net with all undead trying to infect everything, the entire map with undead buildings and the skull from the undead shop? All players must be undead. Well, good luck with that one. And he wouldn't mind if I played the silver color. Well, that ain't going to happen now, is it? I'm a, I'm a miserable looking kind of dull orange by the looks of it. So that's going to work for me. Hey, you, come with me. We're going shopping. Well, not quite. We're going to spend our money anyway. It's kind of a form of shopping. I wouldn't mind the old rod, though. Don't take that one out of context. I know what you're thinking, you filthy buggers. So, more Akos. Into a tech, into abominations, into necromancers, into shops. And I'll try my best to spread that blight. The funny thing is that I'm not even starting off with it. It would be nice, but if I got the graveyard earlier, I probably could have done it. But we are going to cancel that. Just get the Echoes. Concentrate and get the expansion and the tech for now. So let's do that. Let's roll up. Roll up, roll up, everybody. Oh, that's kind of nasty, but I'll take it, I guess. If you sit over there, it's not so bad. I don't want you getting a last hit with that, though. Because that will deny me experience. Oh, ghoul! Ghoul! <laughs> Okay, one ghoul down for the count. I see. To, I got like a little tiny leg spike there at that point. I hope you notice. Right, here we go. More echoes. Fill up the slots. I guess I can get another ghoul now with that. Bit of a nasty creep camp, but the reward you get for doing it is well and truly worth it, provided no one comes across it. So, two, three, four. So one more echo from you, and then a tech. Feels good. Blue, prepare for harass. <laughs> Okay, Shadowhunter, so he might be coming to my bit in a moment, so I want to take the unhealthy ghouls back, bring in a couple of healthy ghouls and come back to the middle, although you can see he's heading to this point over here towards another ally, so for now I'm going to play a gamble and assume that I'm okay. 
get myself another um, cigarette. Fill up with more rods of necromancy. That's the skeletons. And then carry on creeping for now. Ghouls are going to bring in enough wood, hopefully, for the other resources. Now, again, I could stack up on these skulls, but I need like a little hiding place for them. So you can either just keep buying them from the same shop and try to do it reliably so that you can stack them up, or you can just build multiple shops, which will probably be easier than all the hassle of trying to store them like a squirrel. But for now, we'll take them with us, because the whole point is to essentially take over the map with Blight. Probably a good idea to take over my section with Blight. The only issue I think I'm going to have here is I'm not going to have much in the way of anti-air. So when the inevitable happens versus mass freaking air, it's going to suck. Alright, let's try to Blight up as much as that. Let's try to Blight up as much as that. Because it does spread quite nicely. Oh, that's a nice bit of experience. What a tease. <laughs> it just ended. Okay. I'm going to get boost of speed for the Lich that's going to come out. I reckon Dreadlord's quite good as well at spreading the blight. I mean, they were quite responsible as well in the campaign. Oh, right. So you got a nice little comfy expansion here. I don't think I can stop that with what I got. I'll send the skeletons in to kill what I can there, but... I ain't going to get much done there, am I? Human expansion. We're going to have to deal, deal with that later on. See if there's an easier thing to pick on over over this side. Ah. Okay, the inevitable one versus two. Just smack on the money. I don't even get. I don't even get like. I don't know. Five seconds to harass the human and get a couple of free kills. Not even five seconds. Straight away, he's waiting, and ready. He saw me coming up on the other side and knew what was going to happen. So that doesn't leave me with much harass potential here. AKA not much experience. So, what can we do, eh? Just keep working on building up that plague, I guess. Those are the components. Someone's down already for some reason. I guess it's going well down there. <laughs> Someone might have got slaughtered. Have they crept this? No, they haven't. So that hasn't been done. So they're missing out on that um, gold. Let's come down here and put on the pressure whilst we can, so there's an expansion. Yeah, those humans do like those outer expansions so they can get enough towers there. Should probably try to look out for that a bit more, but that's only if I was going fiends, it's a bit easier to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is a bit tricky to harass this base. That knight elf seems like he's quite snug inside of there. All those archers behind those ancient of war. Poor old Arthur's not having the easiest time, is he, getting the harass done? Oh dear, that's quite a lot, and I haven't got much to TP with. Fine. Uh, I guess. Fine. Let's TP over there. Pull the lich over. Are you stuck? You're stuck in here. Okay. Some kind of mastermind you are. Well, here we go. Just chuck it in there. We're clearly outmatched here. Clearly outmatched. But you can't still be stuck. Oh, okay, you are. Wow. That's an unfortunate path in there. And Red's here as well. Yep, we definitely need more than what I'm bringing to the table. Because I ain't ready yet, strangely enough. It takes a while to build up this plague and research it. You can't just jump straight into a plague, otherwise everyone will be doing it. Alright, is the Lich free now? Is he good to go? Well done, Lich. You're free. You're being released from your undead prison. Oh, the nukes, the undead fiends, the ghouls, the everything. Let's bring some ghouls into this fight. Seems to be kicking off. Lich. Let's go. Yep. Okay. So we're pushed into this a little bit far faster than we'd like to be, but whatever. I think they're throwing a GG already. Get those necromancers. Trying to spread the plague. I think this game is going to be well and truly over before I actually get to spread any blight, which is kind of the point of this. I think I'm getting more distracted by trying to get necromancers and stuff like that, I'm noticing. I think that's slowing me down. What I might do for the next map, 
if this game is going to be over shortly, is I probably honestly might just stick to Fiends. Now I know that this is... If I can switch later on to Necromancers and stuff like that, sure. But I think for the sake of the strategy and not actually sucking versus air, which luckily we haven't been against that much this game, but Necromancers is very, very, very draining in terms of the amount of effort. And well, once it's all done, you just stand there and auto-micro, but up until it's done, it you can see it's taken all of me concentration. And I'm missing out on doing other vital parts of the strategy. I definitely need ghouls for wood. That's not a that's not a you know, that's that's a fact. But I'm not getting these blighted skulls really massed. And I could I could probably better this, I think, by just building undead buildings slightly further out and spreading blight that way. I wonder if it's actually easier to spread blight just from building mass necropolises. It's a bit more expensive, but it's another way to spread the blight. Alright, let's go finish this game, and then I'm going to work on another game where I'm not going to suck so much. Because <laughs> I'm not doing a great job here, to be quite frank with you. All I can do right now is necromancers. I can't really bring ghouls into the battle, because I need a shredder. I haven't got that yet, so I could have got that if I was paying more attention. So we've only really got a few necromancers, and that's about it. And a couple of statues to help support it with um, a meat wagon to help propagate it. But the meat wagon also needs to be researched for exhumed corpses, otherwise it kind of doesn't do nothing in that sense. Alright, let's sit here for a second. Go up top. We're moving to 51 category. That's fine. I've got so much gold anyway. Where is... Oh, hello. We're doing this, are we? I didn't know. You popped up on me out of nowhere there. Shredder. My patience has ended. The restless dead awaits. Ah, okay. Also, time to get all the harm. My vengeance is yours. Research complete. I Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And also more of these skulls when I can. Still on cooldown. So more shops required. So it's always one way to look at it is the first game can kind of be a practice game because I do intend to play another game after this. This game isn't over yet. I don't want to just leave it because it's kind of rude on my allies, so I will see it through. But I'm pretty confident we'll take this unless we're going to lose the mass air in a moment, which could actually happen because not much of us. We, we need tanks and then that's basically GG. You get tanks, it's game over basically. I do like the idea of necromancers and all that. Don't get me wrong, I think I will try my best to try to fit them into the strategy as well as meat wagons and stuff like that, but I know how the game goes a lot of the time for versus 4RT. So I'll stick to me fiends, I'll get my hardcore creep in, I'll get the power, I'll get the expansion, I'll get the sort of like power, so to speak. Also you guys pump up more skeletons if you can. Oh, this is going to be all of them coming back. No doubt about it. You don't stand there versus like four armies. Look how much air is starting to come into the fray now. That's a lot of air. Pestilence. There's nothing else I can really build. I guess Abomination, it doesn't do good versus air, but I need to be building something from it. So this is where the fiends come in. They kind of, I mean, I can fit fiends into this build. I can literally go get web and put fiends in there. That's not a problem. That's doable. Also, watch out. I've got quite a lot of... Uh... If we just stand here, it's not the worst defense. It's an undead base with mass skeletons. But obviously, there's like three armies, maybe four. <laughs> so, there's more comfortable things to fight versus. But still... An undead base. Looks good to me. This lich really wants to die. Look at him. He's right on the outside. Dancing around like a little prancy. Freaking with his skirt. What is he doing? Sort it out some. Alright. More necromancers. Yep. Pull them in. Keep it going. And there's the frost worms as well from the enemy. Death Knight's in trouble. Teleport him. Just buy a bit more time. 
More town portals are coming. I think we'll be okay. Not everyone is town portal. That's the problem. Shall I, shall I spread some blight? I think we're just about hanging in here, but they've got a lot of air. Which is really a big problem. It's nice to have all the necromancers here to defend with, though. They're pretty good defensive tools. And I think they've finally been pushed back now. Ah, watch out, Lich. You're going to get wrecked. Can't move back into my base. Getting a little bit blocked by the old purple, but luckily the enemy aren't really picking up on that. And there's the steam tank, so we have got the GG. It, it was just a little tense. And I, I guess you got to see some Necromancer action. I definitely play a lot better with Mass Fiends. Because it's easier. But yeah, we'll throw the GG towel in now. Oh, more air! Great! How many boosts of speed do we want? I just pick it up out of reflex. There we go. I got a fiend in there. I got some anti air. <laughs> Okay. Right. Shall we try to fit an abomination in there now? Amongst all this mess. Looks cool though, doesn't it? You've got to admit. So at least we got this sorted. So you kind of got your necromancer again. But I've got to be honest, like, for the sake of myself, I'm trying to do a better performance of actually spreading blight. Because this isn't actually technically supposed to just be like a play video where Necro Rush. If that was it, that would be fine. I'm doing it right now. And I could concentrate on that and probably make that work. But if I'm trying to do two things, which is like also get the uh, entire map concentrated with Blight, which does take quite a lot of concentration, making sure that happens before the game is over, which I've done a terrible job of. Kapow! Yeah. It's going to take some time. So Mass Fiends will really just be... It will give me... Map dominance, unless I'm getting one versus two or two versus one the whole time, it will definitely give me map dominance. Mass fiends, I'll be able to push my weight around a lot more, and it also depends on the map because some maps are really big. So we'll see what we can do about spreading the blight. This is weird. Also, that Porsche guy is a map hacker, scummy guy. Very scummy guy. Haven't seen him in a while. Um, no, I was going to say this is weird because the map already looks like it's blighted as well. I keep getting these kind of dark maps. Like I've got Cherryville. It looks autumn y, so it's all dark and dull. And again, we've got this giant red map. Technically, yeah, it's red. But it's got that kind of blighted look to it. So I'm not sure how much spreading blight is going to have too much of an impact. We kind of need like a green map. I was kind of hoping for a green map or a sunken ruins tile set. I'm particularly thinking of, um, I think it's Murgal Oasis. That's kind of like a small battleground style map. And again, battleground would be fine. That's all white. So that's all snowy. And I could definitely spread blight on that one. So battleground or Murgal Oasis I think would be a great map. But I don't choose the map pools. Now the problem is, is you say, oh, alright, why don't you just keep searching until you get that. Could do that, but what if I search for 10 games and I never get it? I'm ruining 10 games basically just by instantly leaving or having to play them through. So, you see what I mean? You get you get what you're given basically, and I hope you hope you hope you get what you want, but you don't always get what you want. I'm playing Undead right now, so you know. Okay, I'm only joking. Undead Fiends is overpowered as all hell, so gives you a lot of dominance. So having dominance makes you feel good, makes you feel like a big man, like you. Why oh, you're the king of the castle? And you own everything. Makes everything easy. Strange how undead might be overpowered enough that it makes everything easy. Who the thought? Hmm. Right. Ghoul. Oh no. We're done with the ghoul. We've even done that part. The build order is so difficult. 
so difficult right now, so I'll probably just say out the names again of those that are contributing. So, let's see. I'm going to treat myself to a Nerubian tower, just because I'm on the outside here. and Why not? It will affect anything that wants to be a pest later on in the game. So, who is here? Okay, so Martin Nielsen, Killman Pit, and Satirial the Demon. Those three trigger names are the ones responsible. However, others may have mentioned it in the past, but those are the ones that I picked up on definitely for this strategy. I don't think that many other people definitely came up with it, but I'm sure someone's going to claim it. Let's set off some bloodlust, because that's a bad idea. I have got the Nerubian Tower, so you kind of use that. You can utilize that a little bit. If they pull that far, but they don't. But you've got to also be careful because these ones net. So you need to stay out of their range for net. Otherwise you'll become a cropper. There we go. That's nice. Ah, where are you going, Sam? I got some slow on you, didn't I? Yeah, look at that. Down for the count. You didn't even do any damage. Okay. I didn't actually build another cigarette. Interesting play from me. But really, actually, not that terrible a play. Because Undead can always compensate by just teching. They have that power. And let's be honest, a couple of fiends is strong enough to deal with pretty much anything. So, yeah, I'm just going to tech. I've got skeleton rods, I've got enough to creep with. And I definitely want to get the sh shredder. And the cigarette that I've built now will definitely be done in time for that. So strangely enough, it's not like it's done me a favor, but it hasn't really hurt me at all. Okay. So now that's done. We'll look at this. That's about to go up. Back into fiends. Do I want another cigarette as well? Just to make sure I've got enough, I suppose. But I don't want to spend too much wood, because that shredder will be available soon. Okay, back to fiends now. Could hopefully have a fiend up in play. These guys are nasty. These bloodlusted dudes. They actually do quite a lot of damage. You've got to be real careful of those. They slice through your units. Bloodlust is pretty damn powerful, it turns out. I can get two fiends and a shredder, and then I'm food capped again, which is fine. Probably go and get myself your skeleton rods, I reckon, matey. I'll get a handle of your rod. Now, that one was intentional. And of course, we have the Sacrificial Skull. Oh, try to remember that. Okay. Now, what we do is we pull these right back. So far back that hopefully I don't get mana burnt. Because that's the biggest problem with this creep camp. But Undead is pretty overpowered. Did I say Undead is overpowered? I think I might have said it. So stay back. Don't get mana burnt. Because he's got 330 mana, which is a lot. And just keep trying to bring him in. But they also try to keep them pulling back. And now we can chuck a heal. And probably get a shredder as well. Keep going. More skeletons, chuck them in there. This is the reason why I'm not chucking my death knight in there, because those fell hounds will literally take him to zero mana pretty quickly, actually. Whereas at this rate, I'll still get to keep some of my, my mana and get to keep, creep this camp. Alright, Shredder, finish off these nasty little buggers. Move in, finish off that other little nasty fell hound. Tech is almost done. I could probably go for another straight tech after this, actually. Yep, take him out. And get to keep everything. Oh no, mana burn! Ah, he came for the death knight. He ignored the Shredder. Okay, I still got 137 mana. And Sobe Mask. Everything's okay. Alright. So. What I could have done is actually get one Acolyte out. But I couldn't actually. I'm food capped. Yep. I'll hear you. Let's go fly a kite. Up to the highest height. Let's go fly a kite. So they're sorry. Yeah, that's all in play. I am going to look into uh, cigarettes. 
I do want a lich. I'm really looking forward to that shredder cashing in on the wood. I've actually pulled an acolyte over here just so I can do this. Because as soon as he brings enough wood, I can get that expansion set up. Blocked. Denied. Alright. So let's spread some blight. That's going to spread blight. Let's spread blight with this. And let's go push. Undead imbalance. Okay, so get some... Well, I'll get a web now, just in case the enemy have teched up to weapons or something. We can catch them short. Ah, footman army. I think they got defend. Watch out for mana, though. <laughs> it's going to be the theme, isn't it? Okay. So tech's going... We're going to have a Lich soon. I may as well get myself Burrow, treat myself to that. Now, this is the part where, as soon as I shredder, like I say, really starts to kick in with that wood, I'm going to go for multi shops. Multi shops. Oh, we're in a good position here. They're going to have to town portal. It's going to waste their resources. Have they got expansions? We've all got expansions on our side of the map, which looks really good. Okay. So go back to the night off base. I agree. That's a smart decision. So fiends are nice and easy to build. Don't have to worry about that. Scroll of the Beast. No one actually picked it up, actually. I thought Purple was going to pick it because he was close and I was getting sort of blocked out by the other undead bullies and night off bullies nearby. Okay, let's get back into this fight. Keep the Death Knight out of harm's way. Get the Lich. Get the Acolyte when you can. More gold is required. I could have pulled that Acolyte back, to be fair. Can I just kill that death demon hunter? Oh! I can. That took effort. Okay, now the really big problem with this is we actually need to go and attack other expansions because what will happen is if I run back, they're all going to run to my very open expansion. <laughs> I don't really want that. So let's go see if we can kite them. Yellow's pulling blue in. So, oh my god! the hell is this? Oh, they've all gone up. Blue. No, blue is going to my expansion. I can see it on the minimap. Ah. Fine. You want to play this game, blue? Let's play this game. I'm coming to get you. Bastard. Yeah, you think you got me, but you don't. And I'm going to make you pay. I'm going to make you bloody pay. Trying to go for my open expansion. How dare you. How rude. It's almost like he doesn't want me getting gold. Oh no, I'm stuck. You even got a scroll of raw, have you fella? Oh, it was that scroll of raw. <laughs> it's backfired so much. Get out of the way, I'm trying to build. What is this guy's problem? He really wants to kill this necropolis. No! The good news is I get to keep hold of the blight. That makes me feel happy. Just because you're paladin and mass footman, you feel like you've got to do this whole... repel the scourge thing. I get it. I understand, bro. I think it's easier just to mass frickin' Necropolises than to keep going back and getting all those skulls of blight. Plus, the Necropolis is a permanent. Alright, those shops will be going up. I'm going to try. Only two of the shops went up because I think some of them got blocked by my allies sort of dancing over them. I'll ask for some gold cheekily to see if anyone's going to give it because I, I wouldn't mind an ex uh, TP as well. It's safe to have one. Be safe, boys and girls. Nope, no gold. No dice. <laughs> He's worried about it being spent on Necropolis. Hey, mate. I'm trying to get something done here. You're on my side, I thought. We were on dead buddies. Third hero really helps as well. Ah, thank you, Mr. Metapsycho. You understand. Okay, so we can sort of work towards the whole pestilence thing now. But really, again, Frostworms would make it super easy just to control the thing. Okay. 
Necropolis going. It'll be easier to blight their things with the sacrificial skull and spread necropolises in my base, if I'm being honest. Just to try to spread the blight as much as possible. So we get blight going. I don't think it works on a bridge. No, <laughs> it doesn't work on a bridge. It's such a small surface area, so I'll try to do the best I can. You don't want to put it right there, because you can manipulate it to sort of like spread out a little bit more than it normally would do. Oh, hello. Mana burn me, bro. Coil me, bro. Where's my coil, Mr. Undead Friend? No? No coil? Ah, oh, there it is. I just used mine now. So you got to survive until I can coil you. Aha! Undead bros in it together. Aha! That is a pesky demon hunter. He's got the chase! Okay, I think we're safe now. Watch out. Be all, be all the bat. Alright, alright. So, we, what are we doing here? We kind of get, just get some upgrades and stuff like that for now. Like I say, it starts to distract me after a while. I have to keep concentrating on all that nonsense. I don't have to. Alright, let's have a look. And then this is the other issue. You run out of sacrificial skulls all the time. So, I will take the opportunity to send an acolyte over. And literally just plonk a bunch of necropolises. It's harder to get necropolises to stand, though. So, I ever get the third hero. Oh, yeah, no, the Dreadlord does spread. I like the Crypt Lord, actually, quite a lot. But the Dreadlord, in the Reign of Chaos, they were quite responsible as well for trying to spread the whole Blight deal. So, they wanted the Master's bidding to be done. Let's try to have a bunch of shops over here and hope that no one comes after me. One, two, do, do, do. Hang on a second. One, two, three, four. I don't think that's going to build there. I will be done. My fate is sealed. The OCD. Yeah, you know me. Pestilence would. <laughs> Alright. Mr. Dreddy's out. Dread! Get your sacrificial skulls. Get your sacrificial skulls. Two for a pan. Right, you're over here. You can come over here. I got one over here. Oh, this is anything to do with macro just blows my mind. And this is kind of macro based. Spread the plague, carrion swarm. So all those shops are going up. The thing is, I need those heroes to keep coming back and forth to it. Oh, I got... Oh, that's so bullshit. I'll try and save a coil for the Death Knight. Okay, this is the part where they're going to bite back a little bit. Building closer and closer to the enemy base. My fate is sealed. You I'm trying, okay. Oh look, Purple's helping me out. Thank you, Purple. Let's work together on this. Spread that blight. We need to make this work. Make Deadlands great again. Okay, Dreadlord, you had a bunch of 
um, thingy majigs. So just go put them in the enemy bases. This is it. I'm going to do like a suicide run now. Drop that. Drop that. Drop that. So go meet up. Go for a suicide run or something. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go back. Death Knight goes over there. Lich comes down here. Picks up a bunch as well. So Death Knight. One, two, three, four, six. Lich. Sacrificial skull. For the Lich King. <laughs> so he's coming back for some more. And I think that I'm out of sacrificial skulls, even with that many shots. So, sacrificial. Blank. Ah, uh, is this a TP job? I'm going to have to get all my heroes back again. I should probably just build up for mass um, frostworms or something. I bow. Is complete. I got a TP down there, so they've got some help. Is My vengeance is yours. We need Right there, I've been pushed back. They do not like the look of our army here. So that's being spread. Oh no. I think the game, they might be calling GG. That's always the problem. Blues on the case for a Necropolis. China spite the undead. He's got quite the righteous army. But the thing is, is when a Necropolis gets killed, you still get to keep the blight. So it, it really is quite beneficial a lot of times to have that necropolis. Alright, uh, let's smite the humans with undead blight. Uh. Uh. Okay, we're back. Where are you? Time to take over. Take over this joint. Alright, we've got some units down here. Let's pull them in. They, they're like the odd units. That I feel like I can't use comfortably. I'm gonna try. This is a big map, though. Oh no, he's onto it. Need to spread more blight. Let's spread the blight in there to heal up the undead frostworms that are actually over. Spread into this human base. It's a real mess. Necromancers, get to work, get to jamming. Poor Treadlord. He's just having a rough time. Some people just don't want to see the world be blighted. You're just building necropolises. I've got to say! So many human towers. Okay. 
Okay, more of the pestilence style of units. See what I mean? After a while, you can start to feed, feed them. I'll chuck in a couple of ghouls, but no one wants those. In fact, I'll just chuck in that ghoul. That counts. No one really wants to see ghouls be built. I wonder if he's dispelled in his own base just to get rid of the blight. Yeah, that dryad doesn't like that. Alright, I'm out of skulls. I can go back for another run. The death mine's pretty fast. And again, like, there's no real comfortable place to put all these shops, but you have to put them somewhere that's protected. And this is as close as I can get into enemy territory and have them be protected. We'll do a sacrificial skull shot run. So you just run through, spam them. Oh no. I think I have to blight those areas. So the Death Knight can pop over. I should have cancelled that Necropolis. I don't think those drives would actually have quite enough DPS to bring it down. No! <laughs> That's not really what I'm doing. I'm not being bad mannered. Just in case he's got the arcane tower. I don't want the death knight getting hit by it. I've got to say, a real massive amount of this map is genuinely blighted. Deadlands is a freaking big map, you know. It ain't a small map. Apparently I've got Microsoft Word opening up on the left hand side of my screen. I don't even know how I did that. How the hell did the, you just pop up out of nowhere? Thanks to Purple as well for making this a little bit easier for me. Alright, let's... Hang on a second. You're dead. I just want to try to get this guy. Uh oh. He's on to me again. He's not letting anything go. Oh, death knight. Don't die, bro. It's one of those things where you have to hold position with him, because otherwise he's going to keep running back when he can't go left. Let your units finish doing the dance that they're doing. Yeah, it looks good. I gotta say, that mini map definitely. I thought Deadlands wouldn't look that different with a bunch of blight, but it does. Was it? Okay, well, it probably was worth it for you, to be fair. I'll give you that much. I think my gold mine, yeah, just collapsed. So actually, that's kind of convenient timing. Don't need to rebuild the actual archives. So as you can see, I'm not concentrating too much about. It's just right there. Red doesn't like me getting these necropolises too close to his base. I think it's time for another uh, skull run, and I'll finish off building. I can't exactly build Necropolis next to a tank now, can I? Okay, let's pull you out. Let's finish off the bits near my base, I guess. As best as I can. Hmm, it's actually pretty damn blighted. I cannot summon Alright, now we just need a whole ton of gold after spending all of those necropolises for a skull rum. <laughs> skull run. 
I just made that up. I've only got like one small gold mine going. I oh, know, actually, I've got two, I know. So it's not too bad. Bit of a mess, but. Cheers. Dissolver Hero. They don't go. You don't get gold from Necros. Level 9 Torrent Chieftain, my goodness. Oh, there is some experience right there. Okay, Skull Rum. You see, it's pretty pricey, isn't it? Even after saving up for quite a while. You're just going to have to sit tight, I think, for a little while. So the Necropolis is still going free. I'm pretty sure he's still blighted, unless, like I say, he used the Wisps. Because Wisps can detonate, and then they'll dispel the Blight. For those of you that didn't know. It's actually pretty cool. But I don't think he did. Skull Rum! Ah, oh, Lich! What are you doing, bro? You got skulls. We can't be wasting those. Bloody Kelkasar. It's pretty damn blighted. I mean, look at the Necropolis. How much blight that spreads. Very, very good. Wait, five, Summoning six. You two are out, so you almost need to go back on yourselves. One, Summoning is two. Complete. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that. That's all the hard bits to get to. Is complete. Three, my four, five, six. <laughs> this is how it's got to be done. Summoning complete. Pestilence, the plague. It's all spread lovely. Good job there, team. Very nicely done. There's another one about to go off. Ah, oh, it didn't work, the one in here. I guess that peon walked past. Yeah, you. Okay. I think that is as close as you're going to get to that being done. Let's face it. Purple was defeated. No, he wasn't. He did okay, actually. All right. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Make sure to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed yourselves. It helps support my channel because thumbs up, views, comments, sharing, adding to your favorites, all of that helps in the uh, YouTube algorithms. And if you do want to also go a little bit extra to help me out, then please feel free to pop over to patreon.com slash wittywarcraft. In the video description below, there'll be a link and... What that is, is that's basically like a, a support service, I suppose, to some degree. You get a little bit of a bonus if you pledge, say, $1. You get yourself an extra Warcraft free video for the month. It could be a video like this. Or $5 gets you an extra two of them. And then $10 allows you to sort of like play in the custom games, get a reserved slot, and so forth and so forth. There's different tiers. Just even a dollar would be great. So thank you very much for considering it, if you are. And have a great day. I'll see you later. That's uh, that's the plague right there. It's uh, that's quite a game as well. Thirty minutes. Look at all those levels. Apart from uh, Teal, unfortunately, <laughs> his demon hunter didn't get quite as overpowered as necessary. But he's level three. He's as strong as a level nine Toran chief than the level three demon. And I'm not going to go down that road. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. I'll see you later.